25 years ago, Cape Horn was unknown to most Gorge lovers. There were no thoughts of a family park on top of Cape Horn. There were no plans for a trail traversing stunning cliffs and tucked in waterfalls. There were no plans for anything except this. A subdivision, a 16 lot subdivision that would have transformed farmlands and recreation opportunities yet to be discovered into sprawling suburbia. Those plans were changed by one woman. Um, I myself was not aware of Cape Horn until I was uh, taken up there to look at it by a wonderful woman who worked for the Trust for Public Land, and this must have been in the very early 80s, maybe 1983. And I can remember being absolutely awestruck by the views and by the importance of the landform. The day that I went up there, there was a sign posted on it that I will never forget. And it showed all the little lots that had been carved out. These were very narrow, long, narrow lots, and each lot had a window facing east because that was the view uh, where the view was. So by the time I saw this place, it was definitely on the market and up for grabs. With the Columbia River Gorge National Scenic Area Act still years away and no land use regulations in place, Nancy and Bruce Russell took the extraordinary step of borrowing $300,000 from a bank and providing a no-interest loan to the Trust for Public Land to purchase 12 of the 16 lots, effectively stopping the subdivision. This set the wheels in motion for creating a legacy. It was a major accomplishment, really, to get Ribview Estates into public ownership because once that happened, it paved the way and others were interested in and enthusiastic about adding more land in the Cape Horn area into public ownership. We had long dreamed of a trail on the Washington side that would equal the very historic trails on the Oregon side. This is hard to do because you have to have a lot of new public ownership on the Washington side. But we had been successful in promoting this idea so soon we had land that called Grams McKellar that started down on Highway 14 and went up through the woods that led up to the property at Cape Horn. So then that meant the opportunity in the future to run a trail from Highway 14 all the way up to the top of Cape Horn. Following Rimview Estates and Grams McKellar, more land was purchased at Cape Horn by the Trust for Public Land the U.S. Forest Service, Columbia Land Trust, and even Nancy Russell. Today, those land acquisition efforts now allow an eight-mile loop trail. But the remaining pieces of the puzzle are the two developed lots on the rim of Cape Horn, the Cleveland property and the Collins property. Friends of the Columbia Gorge Land Trust recently purchased the Cleveland property and now has an option to purchase the Collins property. These two extraordinary opportunities are the heart of the $4 million campaign for Cape Horn. The campaign will permanently secure these properties, provide funds to remove existing structures, and create a public overlook as a legacy to Nancy and Bruce Russell. The Cleveland property would have been lost forever had it not been for the support of Portland philanthropist Al Jubitz. With a small window of opportunity to purchase, Al provided Friends Land Trust with a bridge loan to secure the property. Obviously, I've got to put my money where my mouth is. You know, if you love the gorge, you love the opportunity of this overlook, I'm gonna to have to support it, and I'm happy to. The uh, Cleveland property was just obviously the, the most uh, key piece left to acquire. One of the reasons that Cleveland was the one developed lot is because it had the very best view of any lot in the subdivision. This uh, seemed like a very long shot, but it is one of the really great accomplishments of our land trust. The other key property of the campaign for Cape Horn is the Collins property. 
With an equally impressive view, the Collins property has been of great interest, not only for the opportunity, but also because of the potential threat to Gorge Vistas. You know, it's important to remember that in a situation like Collins, where there is a very nice small house on uh, considerable 35 acres up on Cape Horn, uh, you mustn't uh, feel that if we did not purchase that property that the house would stay the same. It wouldn't stay the same. The, the lot up there is so spectacular that what came along next would be a very, very large mansion. And remember that most of Collins is not even in the National Scenic Area. And so the property can be further subdivided. And so you could have a much expanded Collins house and many new houses going in uh, on those 35 acres. With an option to purchase the Collins property in hand, raising funds to ensure the purchase is critical. The view up there is just absolutely marvelous and we can put our trail where it belongs and use the grounds of what was this Collins property as a parkland and also as a place to continue the trail. With the campaign for Cape Horn, a rim trail will be put in place and a spectacular view park will be created for the public. And the woman who made this happen will be honored. As part of the campaign, an overlook will be created on the Cleveland property that will tell the story of how Nancy and Bruce Russell stopped a subdivision and started a legacy that will live for generations. The significant thing about Nancy Russell is her focus and her tenaciousness and her success. I'm always impressed by people that choose one passion and stick with it and make good things happen. Our responsibility is to continue that, is to not let that dream die because Nancy lives one lifetime. Uh, there are more lifetimes of investment into protecting the gorge for the beauty that it is and for the enjoyment that it is for people throughout the region and frankly from all over the world. Cape Horn is a very, very important place. It is analogous to Crown Point on the Oregon side. It is the viewpoint in Washington for the same kind of magnificent view to the east and this is just a crown point on the Washington side waiting to happen. This is a absolutely stellar place in the gorge. Help us finish what Nancy Russell started nearly 25 years ago, the campaign for Cape Horn. Protecting a view, fulfilling a vision, and honoring a visionary. <music>